Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are here in the booth of ICAD, and we have ICAD CEO Dana Brown with us. Dana, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. So um, one of the things that, that I thought was most interesting about the first day of RSNA on Sunday was the number of mammography AI presen uh, presentations, and so ICAD is a mammography AI company. Can you talk a little bit about uh, ICAD and what you guys do? Certainly. Um, I think overall, at a macro level, the shift we're seeing is not you know, do I need AI, but how do I acquire, right, the best AI for my practice, um, and how do I adopt it? So, for example, yesterday, one of the presentations was by Dr. Kathy Schilling. Uh, she's with uh, Boca Raton um, Hospital um, in Florida, and she's been a longtime user of AI, an early adopter, um, but she's also been through that learning curve. And so what she found, um, two really important findings that she reported on yesterday, one was overall, with reading with AI, she's finding 23% more cancers than reading without AI. The other very important thing from a patient outcome perspective is that she's seeing a shift, a 42% decrease in later stage cancers, which essentially means she's finding cancers earlier. And according to the American Cancer Society, if we can find breast cancer in stage one, then the, uh, it increases the chance of survival to 99%. So that's huge. That's great. And, and mammography has already been really effective in lowering the, the mortality rate from breast cancer. So if you apply AI on top of that, we could see really dramatic reductions in yes. breast cancer mortality. Yes, yeah. that's exactly right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So um, can you talk a little bit about what ICAD is... Um, is highlighting here at RSNA, and then maybe we'll talk a little bit about milestones in a second. Sure. So at RSNA, two key um, events or I guess accomplishments, right, that we're highlighting. One is we received our FDA clearance on version 4.0, so it's the fourth generation of our detection algorithm, and 4.0 is critically important to us, um, kind of along the lines of what we were just talking about with Dr. Schilling. So we really zeroed in on the accuracy in this version of the algorithm. We actually are seeing that it's finding 22% more cancers um, with uh, fewer and no um, increase in recall rates. We also are incorporating prior exams into the analysis of the algorithm, which is essentially mimicking or replicating the way in which a skilled radiologist reads. And what have been some of the milestones with the company over the last like half year or so? Yeah. So two major milestones um, for ICAD in the last six to nine months. One is the launch of our cloud solution. So at the end of first quarter, we announced cloud. Um, and it's been processing now well over 100,000 cases. We're actually seeing that the processing speeds are up to 50% faster than what's available on-prem, um, which actually was surprising even to us. Um, the next major accomplishment is some of our OUS expansion. So we've been adding more countries and more territories that we've received regulatory clearance. A great example is South Africa and already have um, won some of our first deals in South Africa. Oh, very good. And what can we look forward to seeing from ICAD in 2025? Yeah. In 2025, I think we're going to continue to come out with um, functionality enhancements that improve the workflow and the usability for radiologists. We're also moving in to direct to patient. So one of the other key announcements we made here at RSNA, it's actually going to launch in first quarter, is what's called Profound Health which is an online way to access um, a second read of your mammogram with artificial intelligence. So if you are a woman, you're not sure if your mammogram's being read with AI, or you know you live in an area where AI is not available, you can actually electronically send your mammograms to ICAD. We are partnership, partnering with Cascade Health, which is a network of radiologists to help us with those second reads, because in the United States, you need a radiologist in that workflow. Um, and so we're essentially democratizing the access to AI read mammograms. All right, very good. A lot to look, to look yeah. forward to in 2025. Well, Dana Brown, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Signing off from RSNA 2024, my name is Brian Casey. <laughs>